And so since this morning, we've had wrecks and crashes across Kentuckiana. This happened this afternoon around the noontime hour on I-71 in the median right there. You see that truck flipped over, went right through the uh, the median rails. Uh, there were at least 25 crashes reported during this morning's commute. Metro Safe says 20 of those were injury accidents, and we we're also told by authorities that speed did contribute to a lot of these wrecks. Uh, so slow down and you might be uh, at least a little safer if you have to drive at all. And there have been crashes on the interstates this afternoon as well. The WHAS 11 Beast is also out checking out our roadways. We're going to continue our team coverage right now at six with our crews spread out across the Metro Shepherdsville and down in Elizabeth town of Hardin County, but first we want to check in with Tyler Emery, who's been looking over the roadways in Louisville. Tyler. Hey there, Doug. Looking out over 64 behind me here, it's clear and traffic is moving. As you mentioned, we've been hearing about accidents all over Jefferson County, even more since the morning hours that you mentioned, Doug. Was at least 35 accidents since officials are telling me that's due to the mixed conditions we're seeing out here on the interstates and the roads. They're both slushy from the freezing rain and sleet that we've been seeing today. KYTC tells me the biggest issues it's seen causing these accidents is drivers not going slowly enough and leaving as much room as possible between cars, their crews. Over 100 trucks will be out around the clock working as quickly as they possibly can, but they are urging patience and cautious driving especially as things as temperatures continue to drop. And we've had a lot of moisture on the roads all day today. That definitely makes it harder. Um, you know, salt is not as effective, but we are, you know, we're doing everything that we can. City crews will also be out clearing major thoroughfares throughout the metro over 2700 miles of two lane roads to cover and the mayor says those crews will actually be increasing their salt spread to prevent that slush accumulation from freezing. We'll keep an eye out on the roads throughout the rest of the evening. But for now, Doug, back to you.